excited today because it's been a while since i vlogged <laughs> so god why are you looking at me like that <laughs> anyway it's been a while since i vlogged if you are new to this channel you're welcome my name is adeze and i'm a youtuber based in portacos nigeria i'm a mom of two kids cora and ava and yeah i make videos about lifestyle motherhood and womanhood basically about my life as a woman navigating this cold dark world <laughs> i feel like i need to introduce myself again because it's been a while anyway how you guys doing um some people reached out to me to ask me why i haven't been posting videos thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and uh, these glasses that i'm wearing now i'm sure it's just showing yeah are you ready yeah so um, some people reached out to me, you know, to ask why I haven't been posting videos. You guys, I just had to take a break. I'll explain all that later on in this video. But for right now, I'm going out. I'm taking my kids out. I want to go to a mall. I want to go and get some things from a mall. Not really. I, might, I won't take them into the mall. But I have to go and get some things from the mall. I want to get basically junk. Let me not even lie. What I'm getting is not anything serious. Basically, Cora says she wants hot dogs. Um, which she doesn't eat on a normal day, but this period has been asking for it. So I'm just thinking that maybe she watched it somewhere in one video or something. Anyway, so I want to just go and get um, hot dog buns and hot dogs so I can be making hot dogs for her. And some other little stuff around the house. To be honest, I'm not doing any panic buying or rush buying again because it's a waste of time. Anyway, so as I was saying, well, let me just on this car. I'm so hot these days, eh? The way I sweat is it's like a Christmas good. Anyway, you guys, I got a new camera, so figuring it out is a little bit annoying. But let me just use this. <sighs> let me just use this opportunity to learn how to use it. Anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, so they they keep they keep declaring lockdowns in Portacourt, and then after a few days, they would. Um, cancel the lockdown so basically they will declare lockdown everybody will rush out go and bulk buy buy everything in the supermarket and come and keep in your house after five days they will now call it Mommy, off so that's what they've been doing yeah i'll wear my glasses i just want to be i just want to <laughs> make this video anyway after six days five days they will call off the lockdown so all those you are bulk buying was just not really in vain but it was it's not really necessary so i've just told myself that if they like they should call lockdown or no lockdown i'm not going to bulk buy again i'm not going to rush and buy anything i'm just going to use what i have in the house and just buy little things that i need at that moment okay so that's why i'm going to the mall today to go and buy those that stuff and yeah that's pretty much it to do the fruit snack challenge for my kids i have grapes here seedless grapes and um, um i think this is smarties or something is this smarties or m and i think it's smarties anyway 
So, I'm going to place it on their table now and I'll call them. Yeah, so, since morning, I kept this camera here, so they're already used to seeing it here. So they would think that it's just dead, like the way it has been since morning, because if I had, well, part of why I didn't do this challenge since is that if I do it and they see the camera, Cora is going to come and introduce herself. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> like, it's going to be a fail. So I decided to leave this camera here since morning. So they already seen that mommy just kept her camera. They, they don't know that I'm about to, you know, do the challenge with them, okay? So hopefully they don't know because Cora, I feel like Cora is too smart for this challenge, but <laughs> hopefully she doesn't come and check the camera or whatever. Anyway, let me not ramble too much. Um, let me just call them now. I'm going to flip the viewfinder so they don't see it. And I'll call them, okay? So, funny enough, they're my kids, but I can't really predict their reaction. Like, I don't know why. I can't predict their reaction. I know that if Eva tries to take it, Cora might tell her, no, mommy said we should not take it. Do I know, but Cora herself might be the one that wants to take it, or both of them will just not take it. I don't know what their reaction is going to be, so I'm actually curious to see what their reaction will be. Anyway, let me just call them. Cora and Eva! But you have to hold on, you have to hold on. And um, where are we going to sell? Um, yes, I'm very... mm. Yum, yum. So, um, I'm actually, if I go, just go and then enjoy themselves. So, it's for both of you. Wait, wait. Just don't touch it yet, okay? Did you hear me? No. So, don't touch it yet. I want to go and bring something, okay? Okay? Yeah, so I'm coming. You saw the camera? 
Did you know that the camera was filming you? Mm-hmm. You knew? How did you know? Anyway, guys, so I went downstairs. I don't know if anybody touched this, but I heard Cora shouting at uh, Eva. So when I reviewed the features, I'll know what happened. Anyway, so yeah, we're about to go out now. I went to, um, I was called by the post office, not post office, FedEx. I was told to come and carry something. I don't know what it is. I think my husband ordered something, Sha. It's most likely going to be my, my husband ordered something because I don't even know what... FedEx will be calling me if I'm not expecting anything. Anyway, so yeah, I'll go. We'll go there, get the stuff, then come back and cook. You guys, I'm here to figure out this camera. When I'm outside, the image looks very terrible. I don't even know what is going on. I don't know if I need an ND filter or something. I don't know. It's a, the, the camera I bought is the Canon M50. It's a better camera, but it's just difficult. I've not yet figured it out, actually. I'm not yet figured it out. Let me not say it's difficult. So it's annoying me to use and vlog, but I'm going to just use it like this. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting for my kids to go and eat themselves so that we can get going. I don't even know if this looks better. Don't know. Yeah, it looks a little better, but it's still not perfect. So, Cora and Ava. Yes, mommy. How have you been? I'm sure everybody has missed you. So, or everybody have missed you. What's the English? So, can you tell us what you've been up to? Move the hand from your mouth. Mommy, uh, we we was eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, just wait. We we was going downstairs eating and just going outside again. Hmm? Just going out. Ava. Auntie's house. Mm -hmm. What have you been up to? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody what you've been up to. So, I'm actually, what have you been up to? <laughs> what have you been up to this break? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys, I'm gonna make their hair. You guys should show them your hair. Turn your hair, turn your back. So, I made their hair. Eva, turn your hair. Turn your hair. Cora, turn your hair. Ooh. Yeah, show off, show off. It shows that you have long hair. Yeah. <laughs> Eva. Eva. Eva is always doing that. She's not, she's not, doesn't hear, understand English. Eva. I say, show us your hair. Show us your hair now. Turn your back. Eh? Hey, fine girl. Remind me to buy earrings. All the earrings in this house are missing. washing plates today so while i wash she's going to be rinsing and keeping Cora, mm -hmm. what no. this is not like a plate no i'm the one washing mommy hmm? mama i so want to wash plates by myself eh, eh, don't worry when you're older okay okay very soon don't worry you <laughs> you wash plates you 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 will know how far but, <coughs> Um, not to know how far. No. So when I when I wash, you rinse and just keep it on top of there, okay? Okay. Um, okay. So let me be just you guys something as I'm washing plates. I went to a place called Bread Mall in Portacourt. So I wanted to show you guys what the place is about because it sounded interesting. The name sounds interesting, Bread Mall. So basically, all they do there is that they sell bread. So I wanted to just show you guys like you know what they sell how the whole place is blah 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 but as we got there and i told them i to be 
um, you know, to to take to video the entrance, especially like their poster and everything. I have video the entrance. Then while I enter, I'll use my phone and you know video the bread and the service and everything there, just so that I just show anybody who is interested in knowing. Like, look at bread mall in Portakoto. So as I came down from the car, someone from the inside the mall came out. I went to I'm my outside of the window. I was tapping on the window. And I said, Madam, what's that? She didn't even come to me. Or she didn't come to me that, I mean, that drove the car. She went to the person who was filming. So I was now, I was now asking her what's the problem. She now said uh, that she saw a man TV filming. That, and I said, uh, so what's the problem? She said, no, she wants to know if uh, there's any issue that we are filming. I said, so what's the problem? Let me know what the problem is. I mean, why? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Nigerian business owners, you need to do better. Because the whole thing just pissed me off. She now said eh, that she wants to know now if there's any problem with the price or anything. That's why we are filming. And I said, that's not why we are filming. Just you know, I just left her and started walking into the mall. Anyway, that was why I refused to to film inside the place again. Just like. If filming outside can be this this big of a deal, that means when I enter there with my phone, all of them will just faint. So that was why I didn't film the place. I just bought one bread and came out. I'll later I'll taste I'll taste the bread and see if it's nice enough. But actually, I was looking for hot dog buns because I didn't see hot dog buns hot dog buns in um, Spy the other day. So that was what I was just looking for. That was why I went there. Alright, I'm some keep now. What are you doing? You're wasting time. Man. You don't want to help me next. Time. Uh -huh, so you have to do fast and uh -huh. no, I didn't say you should spoil anything. Just okay. Anyway, as I was saying, Nigerian business owners need to just do better. They make vlogging annoying. They actually do. They actually make vlogging like they make vlogging uncomfortable and annoying because you want to you see something nice, you want to show your subscribers or talk about it, but you can't because everybody's looking at you as if as if you are you are about to come and uh, I don't know like you like you entered with a gun, you enter a place with camera. They look at your camera like it's, it's one uh, automatic rifle or something that you have come there to. I don't know. Commit one atrocity. It's annoying. So, but yeah, we will survive, Sha. Anyway, speaking of, what did she do? To you, bend down, bend down. Look at look at the camera. You should tell this child that she is a baby. Every time she's always going to my makeup. Every every time. Hmm? And the way she goes there is as if ha ah, finally she will now do something fast fast. Sharp sharp for two seconds. She has already rubbed lipstick, rub eye pencil, rub, rub powder. Eh? Tell, tell her. Tell her that she's a beauty. Look, let's look at your face now. <laughs> Eva. Eva. You are a beautiful girl. You don't need lipstick. Okay? Uh, you don't need lipstick, okay? Okay? Don't rub mommy's lipstick again, okay? Hmm. Mommy. And it's one of my good ones. She just wasted on her face. Let, hmm? Let me see, let me see. See her face. <sighs> All right, guys, this is my food. I'm having rice and vegetables and just little stews actually for the meat. Um, I brought out stew from the meat. These vegetables was prepared with actually green, one they call green spinach. I don't think it's spinach. Nigerian spinach, I don't know, the one they call green. So this is green and I prepared it with fish, smoked fish, um, onions, pepper, some spices and um, a little bit of tomatoes. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be having right now while I just with you guys and I can't even wait to dig it because it smells so good. So, while I eat, I'm going to just discuss a few things with you guys um, because some people might be curious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
um a lot of people have asked me why why i haven't been filming why i haven't been posting videos you guys the long and short of it is that i was overwhelmed yes i was i was overwhelmed i was just let me not even just say tired i was tired I felt a little bit sick. I just felt frustrated. I don't know how to call it frustrated, but I was just overwhelmed. Let me just put it that way because um, throughout that period, you know, we had our master class, the second master class, which was a success. But after the master class, we had some other things to do. And then my kids are at home 247, like there is no breather. 247, my kids are at home, they have to be homeschooled. You know, I still have to make their hair. I told I showed you guys how I made I told you guys about how I made three of them's hair. I have to make their hair because there's no I can't call anybody to come and make their hair for them. Especially for the smaller for Eva and Cora. I can't call anybody to come and make their hair for them. And then for my Marathi, like she can't go and make her hair or whatever. So I have to make her make their hair. That one is not around again. So so many I was just I was tired, like in fact I got to a stage where and the funny thing is my own issue is not even about oh not knowing what to post or not knowing. i have a lot of video ideas i have a lot of content that i need to film but i was just overwhelmed and tired that's just the long short story of the whole thing <laughs> you know and part of why i even took the break was my husband dared me to take a break he told me that he said you cannot take a break i was like no now i will take a break i can take a break he said if it's you that I know, you cannot take a break. <clears throat> and I said, ah, ah, what do you mean that I will take a break? He said, let's see now, but he knows that me, I cannot take a break. And the truth is that he's right because even though I wasn't posting, I was still thinking about YouTube, I was still thinking about you guys, I was still thinking about what to post, you know. I was still like, hey, hope it don't affect my channel. That's another thing that many people don't know. Taking breaks on YouTube can actually affect your channel. Hope it doesn't affect your channel. My, I mean, hope it doesn't affect my channel. Hope this, hope that. I was just worrying myself. I'm not only about YouTube, about so many other things. See, when this um, whole lockdown corona thing started, <clears throat> I was one of those people that were like, <laughs> this is going to be a breeze. I mean, it's not um, the same life we've been living or, 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 uh, normally. The same life that I normally live. So, I mean, sorry for the rest of them, because I'm going to be fine. Hmm. It's not that I know that. <laughs> There's a difference between voluntary <coughs> introverts, or voluntary introversion, and compulsory introversion. <laughs> when you're an introvert, you know, voluntarily, you know, that's in just part of you. It's different. But when you are forced to stay away from people, to stay away from places, to stay at home, to sit at home, hmm, there's a big difference. I can't even imagine those who are naturally extrovert. I don't even know how they are coping. Because me, I'm not even naturally an extrovert. I just want to go out. Like, I just, I just want to go out. Like, I can't wait for church to open. Things to just go back to normal. Let me be the one to choose to stay at home, okay? And all this rigmaroling that uh, Wiki is doing in Portacourt, I don't like it. Many people are hailing him for it, you know, is this, is that. Yes, to be honest, I'm hailing him in the sense that in Nigeria, let's just be frank with each other, in Nigeria, we need a tough leader. If all the governors in Nigeria were as tough as Wiki and, you know, chose, chose to do the right thing, this country would be better. Even if we have whoever as president, if all the governors say, you can be doing your presidency here, but don't come to my territory and come and impose on me, okay? Without, you know, <coughs> without respecting rule of law and all that. Don't come and impose on me. If, you know, it can, if it can work that way and if they all have the mindset to do good, ah, this country will be better. But the problem is, how many of them have the mindset to do good? Everybody is just... Licking ass up and down at every level, at every freaking level, everybody's just burying their head in the butts of their bosses. Okay, so I commend him for that for standing his ground for doing his own thing. 
when there is lockdown everywhere else, he will now impose his own lockdown. Okay, he was the first to even shut his states from others uh, for people from other states to come. Um, he was the first to shut his state borders. Okay, so I, I, I commend him for that. But we don't have the infrastructure to successfully do a total lockdown in Nigeria. We don't have. There's no state that has it. You know, we don't have the, the infrastructure, both financial, medical, uh, and otherwise. We don't just have the infrastructure for it because people have to eat. A lot of people are living below the poverty line. I am not even providing enough relief material for them. So what do I need to do to sit at home and, and die of hunger? You know? So, yeah. We don't just have it. So, and, and then for me, what even annoys me is, you impose lockdown, everybody rush out, go and buy things. Crowd will increase in the market because everybody is now in the market at once. Okay? You increase crowd in the market. Then you now say, okay, everybody. After that, everybody go home and stay at home. We all go home and stay at home. And then one week later, you ease the lockdown again. And then everybody rushes out again, crowd. Or two weeks later, everybody rushes out again. Because it happened in Lagos. You now see the crowd will now rush out. Everybody will now be catching even the one that, even the corona or, Qatar cough, a headache, everything. <laughs> everything. Everybody will not be catching it at once. When they finish catching it, you now tell them, okay, stay at home. And then you put another two week lockdown or whatever on them. So, for me, it doesn't make sense. If you're doing lockdown, if you're not doing lockdown, please cancel it totally. Let everybody just move around freely. Just enforce social distancing, you know, measures. Enforce it. All these task force that are using to catch people, just put them in place and educate them on how to just help people, you know, <clears throat> practice social distancing. Finish. You don't, we can move forward safely. Let me put it that way. We can move forward safely. It doesn't have to be in um, total lockdown of this. We can move forward safely. But the good thing is, thank God I love content creating. I have so many ideas that now I have a lot of videos to film. And yeah, so that's it basically, Sha. So sorry, guys. Sorry that I didn't post all this while, but that's just a summary of what happened to me. I was just overwhelmed and tired. Anyway, but now I'm feeling so much better and I'm okay and I'm back to regular schedule. Okay. So yeah, my body is about to go off. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Let me finish this food very well. I've been doing ajebo while I'm talking to you guys. I need you guys to go so i can <laughs> i can devour the food <laughs> okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.